Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about gameplay issues. And I decided to make this video right now because I do think that uh, quite large swabs of community are kind of blissfully unaware uh, of a lot of these things or additionally because uh, obviously the AI issues have been brought to light and Kabam somewhat addressed some issues with AI in my opinion extremely poorly but you know that is for everybody else to judge but there is a whole slew of different things happening in the game and this is a brilliant thread that kind of highlights one of the additional issues because right now when we talk about you know issues with the ai a lot of people like to lump things in together with the behavior of ai that should not necessarily belong there for instance the recovery speed I would say that the recovery speed issues, as in like why we get parried after opponents' special attacks or why often opponents seem to be able to parry our specials when we do perfectly throw them after our combos, has to do more so with skipped frames or frame stuttering or issues like that, or in other cases with hitboxes themselves, like demonstrated in this thread. So it is clear that it is not just the AI behavior at the moment that is wrecking an absolute havoc across the game. It's also inconsistencies with hitboxes. It's also skipped frames. And uh, I believe most of us have experienced this. And uh, there are more uh, things that I'm almost certain that Kabam has messed with, for instance, timing of dexterity or some animation speeds. As a greatest example here, I could call even today's stream for four years or five years now, I have been able to dex Korg's level one with 90 plus percent accuracy rate. As in like, it would be extremely rare when I get hit by Korg's level one within the fight. I have made a video specifically explaining how to dex Korg's level one and I learned it very well back when Variant 2, 3, when Variant 3 came out, something like that. And ever since then, I have had no issue dexing that level one. But all of a sudden, you know, recently, especially today, my Korg's level one dex rate was lower than 50%. And I did try to adjust my timing slightly. I did try to, you know, properly focus on it. And it still didn't help. It felt kind of like my character is stuck in place and just won't move. That has not anything to do with AI, really. Clearly, there are more issues. And what is the most concerning bit as well, like there is a big thread about it right now on the forums, made in 25th of October and Kabam's completely silent in it. So the final purpose of this video is, well, hopefully generate some more traffic to this thread, which I will link in the pinned comment and in the video description below. And uh, perhaps together with you, my video, we can actually get some sort of response from Kabam. Because again, there are issues with hitboxes, there are issues with skipped frame rates. I'm almost certain there are new parry and dex issues as well, or timings and animations have been changed, or a mixture of all of that together. Something's clearly happening, and it is not just the AI. And it deserves better than a post from Kabam saying, we're making a plan to try and see if there is problem, and then we're going to make a plan type of thing. Because that is what Kabam's AI address post said. Oh, the Unity engine is bad, we're going to be changing this up, and that's going to be implemented next month, and then eventually we're going to figure out if there's an issue. There clearly are a lot of issues right now that are causing extreme amounts of frustration in the game, and we cannot let go of this. And it cannot also be just kind of blindsided in the issues way with AI, because they're not. And, you know, that was one of the most frustrating bits when Kabam did not address any of those other issues with hitboxes, with the skipped frames or frame stuttering, and so forth. So I'm not going to show the video here, but here are the three most important frames. The guy's throwing a heavy attack. The heavy attack is connecting. Ghost Rider is still stunned. The heavy attack connects. You could even hear the sound in the video, but it connects. Somehow, Ghost Rider remains standing, and as he is throwing a heavy attack, throws a special attack. Something's a bit off there, and then obviously the comments. Get shared this thread, thank you. Please tag. This has been shared internally. I'll keep this updated. Okay, great, thanks. 
Whiffing medium to light, then eat a special attack to the face, <laughs> like bread and butter these days. Bum did not respond to that video. They apparently I'm in the same issue with Tigra. Then this sucks, can't wait Kabam to do nothing about it because break broken AI means more revives. Again, this is not an AI issue. This is issue with hitboxes or whatnot. Now that's one elaborate post, 100 marks. We can't make this shit up. Need answers resolution, but there we go. And this is not a champ specific issue. Glad you caught it because it does happen more often and we get more examples of this. Uh, here we can see past this point. Annoying, makes it frustrating to play. Absolutely, it's crazy. And just Kabam things. And obviously, there's no reply from Kabam anywhere here. Even see just stunned, he used penance there. So, oh, glad you recorded this. So, Scorpion does the same thing, often ignores hit. It's not like a wait, but the first hit after special one or two. And one second, we're gonna go to the second sheet, waiting, <laughs> waiting on feedback, of course. More of the same was was uh, showing Buddy how to use Shang Chi, and this exact same ha thing, same thing happened. You can see here in the frame where Winter Soldier uh, is literally getting hit and at the same time activating his special attack. And again, these are not AI issues. They look like AI; issues. they're very similar, but it's to do with hitboxes. It's to do with frames. It's to do with game flowing together, and it's just you know, completely ruining the gameplay experience. The game at the moment does feel like all over the place and AI obviously is contributing significantly to it. But again, getting hit by special attacks that you normally can dex, randomly missing a parry, even though the timing has been exactly the same for like five in a row and the sixth one you get hit. One big issue that I have noticed with me is when I'm trying to dex out of an unblockable attack, my champion just stands there, most commonly with Nick Fury. And obviously, yeah, AI is recovering from hits or combos or special attacks just insanely fast and randomly parrying you. <sighs> oh, long since I slipped the second hit of your heavy throws special too. Yep, so there was like an, another video of the exact same thing, and there are more videos that people are sending in. Here is it happening once more with in, infamous Iron Man against Mr. Fantastic. And then the final post is, Kabam, where's video? Give video. We need video proof to tackle bugs. Players gives multiple videos. Kabam, nothing. And that's kind of the thing, because again, this, this thread has been active at the front page of the forum since the 25th of October. And obviously we had 26th, we had 27th of October. Now it's the Saturday, so we're definitely not getting the response on 29th. Maybe on 30th. But I doubt it, they have successfully managed to ignore all of this thus far. But it is quite troublesome. It's not only frustrating and troublesome for us as a player, but it obviously kind of makes a lot of the game modes much, much more painful than they should be. And the big problem right now is, okay, it happens to all of us, let's say in Battlegrounds, it happened in one match to somebody, and I have lost a lot of matches because of it. And it, you know, I, I would kind of say it just makes the game extremely unenjoyable, but we're all kind of suffering for it. Bam doesn't necessarily benefit from it directly and a lot. The problem is Necropolis is fast approaching. Necropolis is going to be the first content that we have had released in quite a while that will likely require actual monetary spend. It will eat out our stashes that will require us to buy units if we want to rush through it and get it done early. And then at that point, it will have quite significant consequence to the player base, not just in terms of frustration, and also obviously in terms of their account status, in terms of the, the money, the units that you have to spend. And obviously, if these are not addressed, and just so we are clear, I'm not implying Kabam is doing this on purpose. What I am, however, saying is quite likely there will be no rush to address any of these issues because it takes them seven months to figure out that potions need to be made cheaper. And then they're trying to sell that as some sort of rebalance or relook at the potion. But it wasn't. It was, you know, again, something they could have done in an afternoon, but they dragged it out for seven months. 
I have zero faith in Kabam, normally that they would be up, up, able to address these by the time Necropolis comes, uh, comes to the game. And in a situation like this, I'd be almost willing to bet there would be no rush to fix it. And again, I'm not saying they created all of these issues on purpose. I don't think so. I don't think that ultimately in the long run, the game that runs like crap is beneficial to them. I do, however, think that they are extremely inept with the upkeep and improvements of this game and addressing this. And the only way anything ever gets done is that if there is a significant amount of, you know, community pressure or if the right people get involved. So that is a big reason of making this video. Go to the thread that I'm going to leave in the pinned comment. I'm going to leave in the video description and make sure that thread stays up top. Make sure you add your own experience to it. Make sure that Kabam cannot ignore it. Share this video with your friends, with your teammates, because I'm sure that you know, in between all of us, we'll find plenty of people with screenshots, videos, examples, uh, you know, anecdotal evidence, everything else. Keep this thread going up to the top of the page and just bombard Kabam with irrefutable, undisputable mountain of evidence that something is going the fuck on and it ain't good and it ain't us. Let me know what you guys think and what has been your experience. See you soon. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about